Most of you guys are probably low elo players just like me and are stuck in one of those elos where we can't get out due to our own incompetence or the never-ending urge from your teammates to feed the enemy hyper carry. This is considered by most players as elo hell, blaming others that they are dragged down or unable to advance because of poor teammates. The only way out is to improve your own skill or pay someone to get carried out, but there are actually three. Playing a stupid bot composition where the enemy has no idea how to react. Here I present you a perfect pick where you don't have to deal with those problems anymore which is so easy that even a hard stuck idiot like me with a 30% win rate as an ADC can make an enemy team to commit for a FF15 boat. Pike, Nautilus bot lane and here is why you should try it out. Some of you guys might be confused since Pike is way harder to play compared with Nautilus and his hoop needs to get charged up in order to gain some range. Furthermore the pirate gets useless late game when he don't snowball early giving you more excuses to go for risky plays that commit absolutely nothing for your team. But here is the reason why you should pick Nautilus support. It depends on what team comb you have but 90% of the time you can go for an invade since the Nautilus hook has such a ridiculous hitbox it is nearly impossible to miss. His auto attack stuns the enemy for a short duration and Pike can follow up with his ninja roll. This forces the stupid monkey that has a big mouth spitting useless wise words to use his flash after only being 2 useless minutes into this game with 30 more to follow. On the lane you want to play like a coward since the enemy has a gun and can poke you down, but the turntables will turn at the moment when both of you hit level 2. When one of you guys hits his hook the other guy just have to throw it on a stationary target which can't be that hard even for hardstuck idiots like us. Nautilus can just stun him with an auto attack and Pike can use his delayed version taking 1.5 seconds until it does its work. Followed by auto attacks and a quick use of ignite should be enough to get the first kill on the lane or even first blood when your teammates would play like normal human beings. This tactic can be used during the whole laning phase since most low elo players have a brain capacity of a goldfish so they are not able to remember their stupid mistakes they did 5 minutes ago. The only way the enemy can prevent this from happening again is by standing right under his turret and give up all goals he wanted to achieve during this game. Or ask his moron in the jungle for help since he can deal with his own problems just like in real life where he has to ask his mom to change his underwear since he shits himself again. But this comb wouldn't be that strong if they would get beaten by these simple ideas. Scenario 1. The enemy camps under his turret. This is very unlikely to happen since Pike and Nautilus wave clear is so bad like my school grades the wave should always gets pushed towards you. Here is the moment where Nautilus can use his shield to freeze it in front of the tower so the enemy has to drop the wave or he greeds for it and has to pay with his useless life. Scenario 2. The jungler ganks the bot lane. If the enemy asks his jungler for help and he is so kind and decides to gank the lane you don't have to worry about it since you have put some wards into the jungle. You did it right. Well never mind, since most low elo players don't even know that these things exist they spot the jungler at the latest moment possible, but this is absolutely no problem since Pike can just swim away like this and Nautilus can use his hook to swing away like Tarzan. Depending on the situation how fed you are, you can just attack him, so he basically counter ganked himself. From now on things get a little bit different. And with a little I mean ridiculously different. Once Pike and Nautilus hit level 6 you have one free kill when both ultimates are up. It is so easy that not even one of us hardstuck donkeys could mess this up. So here is how you execute it. Nautilus has a point and click ult knocking the enemy up when hitting him. While he is flying you throw your anchor and you repeat the same thing you did before. But now Pike has an execution ult which is little bit tricky to hit under normal circumstances. But since now the enemy at DC can't even move a bit it is nearly impossible to miss your cross of death giving you and your teammates with some extra gold. The only enemy standing between you and your hard earned money is heal. One click is enough to drag them out of the danger zone leaving you behind with empty pockets and a alt button with a 90 seconds cooldown. And after unlocking it this is basically what you do the entire game. So I sneaked camouflaged near the enemy blitzcrank and charged up my hook while he missed his, throwing him right into the danger zone, but the misfortune unleashed her bullet train, but the blitzcrank thought it would be an enemy attack and turned into a golden statue, but that gave me the opportunity to hook him back and tipped me with some gold. But we got an unexpected visit from the lamp man who was collecting taxes, but I'm not that guy that liked to pay it voluntarily, so I sneaked away. But the time traveler and the 010 power spike man wanted to take revenge and went straight for a dive and after some complication we got our money back. Even this Teemo was done with his life after consuming too much mushrooms. Once again a fight broke out and I waited patiently for the execution symbol to appear and once it did I let two of the disappear while the ADC was thinking that he would be safe back there but after a short treatment I proved her wrong. And this Katharina tried to delay her death by teleporting to one of her swords, but that couldn't prevent me from cutting her into four pieces granting me a quarter kill.
and that humiliating an official quarter kill made the enemy to commit for an FF-15 boat. And this Lux thinks that she can casually launch her laser beam into her territory while having a 700 gold shutdown on her mind. So we took it just like that. I was about to hook that Guyana over the wall, but she decided to join us voluntarily, but instantly regretted when she realized that it was too late. I went for a swim and encountered a Saiyan, dodged his Q, and got him just to get punched the shit out of him, while I saw my jungler running away, instead of using ult to save me. Once you get fed as a pike you can snowball the game, and there is no counterplay left for the ADC just like during the laning phase, and it ends up like this. And if you are wondering why this Blitzcrank top is winning against an Aurelia during the laning phase, click on this video right here.